Hi, I'm Fred Burton with Stratfor. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests uh, about uh, my background and some of my past uh, exploits that, that uh, I don't really like talking about, but I, I, I've been asked to. Uh, and let's, let's discuss one small case which uh, turned out to be uh, quite a big catch, and that was the uh, arrest and capture of uh, Ramsey Yosef, which really wasn't his true name. Uh, he was the mastermind of the first World Trade Center bombing, and he had uh, also tried to kill the Pope in the Philippines and had been involved in uh, blowing uh, a couple uh, airplanes up. Uh, he was uh, an FBI top 10 fugitive. Uh, my office ran the Rewards for Justice program, which was the reward offer to capture international terrorists. And uh, we, quite frankly, got lucky with uh, Ramsey Yosef's capture with a uh, human asset, an informant that came forth and provided uh, very granular information on Ramsey Yosef and had actually been in direct contact with him. Uh, you have to step back in this time frame. Uh, we were, in essence, getting uh, countless Ramsey Yosef sightings and all kinds of fabricators and information peddlers. So part of our job was to vet these individuals. And when I first got the call that this individual had surfaced, I, I was skeptical. But uh, the agents that actually debriefed the informant uh, had a, a lot of street experience and a lot of uh, savvy and said that there was uh, something to this guy that we should uh, listen to. Well, to make a long story short, uh, the individual uh, was uh, very successful in providing us uh, some very tactical data as to uh, Yosef's whereabouts in uh, Islamabad, Pakistan, and we were able to uh, go in and capture uh, Ramsey Yosef uh, at a hotel uh, and recover uh, a whole bunch of improvised explosive devices that had been made to look like baby doll bombs that he intended to use to blow up uh, airplanes uh, around the world. Uh, an interesting side note, uh, he had dyed his hair to try to change his identity uh, because our rewards program had really been very, very effective in, in honing in on him. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, based on uh, his past terrorist activity, uh, blowing up the World Trade Center the first time and so forth, that he would have been successful blowing some airplanes up out of the sky. Uh, another interesting side note connected to the case was uh, he was also planning attacks on U.S. diplomats in Islam Islamabad, Pakistan at the time of his capture. Uh, so. Uh, my efforts in the case, uh, most people, uh, I've, I've gotten a lot of accolades for that, but uh, my, my role was uh, nothing more than to uh, make sure that this individual didn't slip through the net uh, like he had before on some of our cases. And in essence, uh, uh, there was some very brave actions on the part of uh, some others that uh, uh, probably best not to be named that were involved with his capture. So uh, another interesting side note to this was once we had this informant and obviously uh, he turned out to provide very accurate information, uh, we made him a very wealthy man with uh, a very large uh, reward for justice payment and then resettled him uh, to another location as well as his family. and. Uh, almost uh, as difficult as it was to capture Ramsey Yosef, uh, uh, getting this informant uh, out of a country uh, in, in a real-time method is, uh, along with his family is, is also an interesting uh, nugget. Uh, if, you, if you have any interest in learning more about this, I, I talk about it in my book, uh, Ghost uh, Confessions of a Counterterrorism Agent.